This week, hundreds of small earthquakes have been detected at Mount Rainier, and this is the largest swarm of quakes in over a decade. But researchers say that this is normal behavior overnight. The U.S. Geological Survey also shared this graphic showing the earthquakes are really starting to die down to just a few small rumble, rumbles per hour. Como's meteorologist Stella Stun spoke with experts about the trends that they're seeing on the mountain. Standing tall at 14,410 feet, Mount Rainier is the highest peak in the Cascade Mountain Range. She's just really powerful the way that she stands in the skyline. An active stratovolcano covered in glaciers and ice, Mount Rainier is closely watched by the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, which monitors earthquakes in our region. We woke up to uh, lots of notifications that there were a lot of little earthquakes at Mount Rainier. We do detect seismicity regularly at Mount Rainier, so it's not out of the complete ordinary. However, have, seeing this many earthquakes in a short amount of time is, is unusual, um, but it's not unheard of. PSNS says nine earthquakes a month is normal. This is the largest swarm of earthquakes since 2009. Don't freak out. Swarms typically happen one to two times a year, but it's usually smaller in terms of the number of quakes. The last large swarm at Mount Rainier in 2009 had over a thousand small earthquakes. A swarm like this, for one day, two days, three days is um, not really concerning. As the earthquake experts do their jobs monitoring the mountains, they say all we need to do, take in the beauty. I have probably like 5,000 photos of just the mountain. The snow-capped peak and like a clear day, it's just, oh, it's so good every time. Still Sun, Como News. All of these earthquakes are happening miles below the surface. None of them have been strong enough to be felt above ground.